Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to talk about a really important topic and that is worry. Do you ever worry? It could be worry about your kids, worry about work, worry about money, worry about your body, worry about your relationship, worry about having a bigger house, worry about retirement, worry, 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 worry. I know so many people that worry and I have been stuck in the habit of worry. I used to be stuck in it all the time. I know a lot of people that are. And today I wanna to give you a five step formula that will help you overcome worry. I call it my overcome worry formula. I want you to make sure you have a pen and paper or so, uh, your laptop, something you can take notes on because I'm gonna give you five very specific questions that will help you overcome worry fast. But first, let's talk a little bit about worry. What is worry? I think of worry as a future-focused orientation that's fear-based. So you're setting your mind on the future, you're projecting ideas onto the future about what hasn't happened yet, so you're actually praying for troubles to come your way. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's true. You're actually stuck in the future thinking about things that haven't happened yet, thinking that they're gonna go wrong, bad, things won't work out, things aren't gonna be good. All of the fears and self-doubt that you have comes and gets crystallized, distilled, and becomes more potent in your worry, but it's all made up. It's all made up. If you think about it, it's all made up. It hasn't happened yet, but you're thinking about it so consistently that there's a good chance it will happen because you're actually creating that reality by a constant state of worry. And this plagues so many people. I get it, we've all been there. There's quick ways to get out of it, but you've gotta become conscious that it's a problem that you continue to habitually create. It's a habit. You've gotta undo this habit by taking very strategic action so that you're not praying for trouble to come your way and instead you can manifest and create and attract the exact life, business, relationships, money, reality, all the things that you want. But if you're stuck in a state of worry, it's not gonna happen because what it does is keep you in inactive, in an inactive state of being in your mind stuck on the negative aspects of a fear-based reality whereas you can get into action-based solutions when you get clear about what your worries are and what to do with them. Okay, so I wanna bring you the formula. It's five simple questions and I want you to make sure you have a pen, a paper, your computer, something to take notes on. If you're driving, obviously that won't work. And real quick, if you're listening to these videos or this the Max Potential Habits podcast and you're getting something out of it, be sure to subscribe, share it with friends, leave me some comments. I'd love to stay connected with you and I want you to help me help more people. So help me spread the word about the Max Potential Habits podcast and YouTube channel, IGTV channel, where I bring tips, tools, strategies every week to help thrive in your life and business. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And also, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, of course, you can schedule a coaching consult. And also, I have a really awesome new program. It's a group Max Potential Habits live weekly online training. Very inexpensive, low cost, high ROI, awesome crew of people. So check that out on my website, nfacoaching.com. Okay. You ready? So the formula, question number one, what am I worrying about? This is critical. It sounds so obvious <laughs> that it's almost ridiculous, but here's the thing. You'll notice that when you're worrying, it's almost like an uncontrollable freight train of scattered thoughts. And in order for you to really get clear on what it is you're worrying about, you need to sit down and think about it. What is the actual worry? Because we often will tend to complain and say a lot of things that are kind of surrounding the worry, but you need to get really clear about what the actual worry is. So start a journal, I advocate for this it's with all my clients. It's something that I use as a tool for myself. It helps you raise clarity and consciousness about yourself so you can be a master of yourself. So in your journal, practice this. What am I worrying about? Number one. Now number two, what's the cause of my worry? Look to what the cause is. 
you know, depending on what you're worrying about, let's say it's something at work and you're worrying about money or you're worrying about a promotion and not getting the promotion. Let's say, so the cost, so the number one, what is, what am I worrying about? Let's say it's money. I'm worried that I am not going to be able to retire by the age I want to retire. I feel really scared. That's the worry. Okay, so what's the cause? Maybe the cause is that you haven't asked for a promotion. Maybe the cause is that you have a boss that is overlooking you, so you're gonna have to self-promote. There, Get to the cause and understand it very clearly. That way, you can start to look to where the solutions are, which is number three. And number three is, what are all of the sol solutions I can think of? I want you to brainstorm and think of every single solution you can think of, every single one. I want you to write down 50 solutions if that's what it takes. I want you to come up with creative ways to overcome the worry. So a solution in the previous example might be, I can ask for my boss for a promotion. I can start to make myself more seen at work. I can decide to do a side hustle. I could decide to switch jobs. I could decide to work for someone else. I could decide to go get another job so I can use that as leverage to come in and say I want a higher salary. I could decide I want to be an entrepreneur and I'm going to build something and, and straddle it on and build that on the side as I am still at my current business, which will bring me more income, more confidence, and all those things. I just gave you five or six immediately off the top of my head. I want you to come up with every single one you can come up with. Now, number four, what solution will I implement? What solution will I implement? So out of all the brainstorms in number three, I want you to come up with the one solution you're gonna start with to implement. And number five is when will I take action? This is critical because worry tends to be one of those nebulous forces that gets us in a whirlwind of negative struggle and inactivity and passivity and just in our mind worrying, worrying, worrying. I want you to shift out by taking strategic action. Developing the habit of taking strategic action is what helps you build your confidence loop. Where you take action, it helps you overcome a fear, you develop confidence, then you wanna do that cycle all over again. This helps in every single area of life and business. So I want you to take action and write a specific date. Ideally, that day or today. Whenever you're listening to this, take action today. Don't wait, life is short. Don't sit in the comfort zone and, zone and be miserable, stuck in your head, worrying. Get out of the habit of worry and get into the habit of understanding why you're worrying, knowing what it is, looking at the root cause, coming up with solutions, deciding which solution you're gonna implement and taking action on it immediately. This is my Overcome Worry formula. I hope it helps you. I'll be back next week. Get inspired to do whatever it takes to transform into the most empowered version of yourself so you can lead a rich, thriving, kick-ass life and business. Have a NFA day.